what's up fam welcome back to the channel i told y'all i was gonna be back new look everything so um a lot is happening and i, I really feel like we have like one person to blame for it but i'm not going to mention their name you're welcome to do so in the comments um but these open borders and we're not vetting people coming in and now all of a sudden you know this person in charge of everything wants to um well signed something saying that we're going to shut the border down at you know this amount of people coming through yet and still no matter what you're doing you're not vetting the people that's coming in we have absolutely no idea who is coming in to the united states we are the only country that i know of that don't monitor that 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 just let people come in without keeping track of who is coming in and where from they are coming so it's not just people from mexico it's haitians it's it's everybody it's venezuela it's everywhere this is not good you guys and people have already lost their excuse me people have already lost their lives because of actions or lack of actions so before we get into the video please give this video a thumbs up hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you have not turn your notifications on so you'll know when i upload a video and share out any of these videos and definitely leave comments below let's just jump right into it this this is crazy this is absolutely, this makes no sense at all. I don't understand it. It says, this is dangerous. Venezuelan gang infiltrating the U.S. that you probably know nothing about but should. So that's why I'm bringing you this story because we need to know about what is happening and they're not covering nothing that's really going to affect you like boots on the ground here in the United States. So when you think that, um, there are wars that are being fought that are not here in the United States. We are going to have war on our soil one way or another. Okay. And it's so many people, you just won't know where it's coming from. So keep your head on a swivel, you guys, definitely. So it says an alleged multi-state human trafficking. I'm probably going to have to change some of these words up ring forcing immigrate immigrant killing of a former well the mysterious unaliving of a former police officer in south florida attacks against police officers in new york the arrest of a rug dealer in chicago local and federal officials say these apparently unrelated crimes have a common denominator trend de araga aragua a transnational criminal gang that originated in Venezuela prison and has slowly made its way to South and North in recent years. They say it's now operating in the United States. The scale of its operation is unknown, but crimes attributed to alleged members of the, of the GANG have worried elected officials and some Republican members of Congress have asked for Biden administration to formally designate a vicious Tran de Aragua as a transnational criminal organization. So this is serious, you guys. People have lost their lives. I have absolutely no idea what this administration was thinking when they said, you know, just have everybody come in. I don't know. Did they think everybody was going to sit around a campfire and sing songs? It says, for several years, the criminal group has terrorized South American countries, including Venezuela, uh, hold on. its country of origin, as well as Bolivia and Colombia, Chile and Peru. Retired general, a former vice president of Colombia and chief of the Colombian National Police told the news that the most disruptive criminal organization operating nowadays in Latin America 
a true challenge for the region. So if they're challenged, what do you think we're going to be? It's so much open space here in the United States for people to go this way, that way, and beyond that you have no idea where these people are, who they are. So this adopted its name between 2013 and 2015, but began operating years before that. Leadership, according to the report, operated out of notorious to Corona prison, which was controlled by them. How the prison is controlling the prison. But anyway, when Venezuelan officials raided it last September, they found a swimming pool in several restaurants inside the prison walls, in addition to weapons seized from inmates, including automatic rifles, machine guns, and thousands of rounds of ammunition. They took a prison. This is how bad this gang is, or how good, if you want to, how you want to look at it. And inside the prison's prison walls where they controlled everything, once it was finally raided, these people had built a swimming pool. They was living in a resort and several restaurants. Come on now. By 2015, a former Venezuelan law enforcement official um, told the news that they would extend their tentacles throughout South America. In Colombia, this same GANG and a rival guerrilla group known as the National Liber Liberation Army operates, let me see, I got to change the words up, I hate that, operate SMEX trafficking network if you understand what I'm saying. They appear to follow the migration north to the United States. And this is according to the FBI special agent in El Paso, Texas. U.S. Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens, who has confirmed multiple arrests at the southern border of alleged um, Tran de Aragua members over the last year, issued a warning in early April. Watch out for this G-A-N-G. It is the most powerful in Venezuela, known for erdering, murking, okay? Drug trafficking, I'm just gonna say it, sex, crimes, extortion, and other violent acts. There are more than 70 cases in which this, this G-A-N-G is mentioned in law enforcement documents or prosecutor's complaints. From the total, the Customs and Border Patrol in Texas has identified 58 as GANG members between the fiscal year of 2023 and just last May. Um, the rest appear in complaints made by victims or arrest reports that point to the possible involvement of the suspects with this organized crime group. And if they are left unchecked, this is what they're saying is happening. In New York, police say a 19-year-old from Venezuela <sighs> shot two police officers last week. We got these open borders. He entered the country illegally just last July and already done unalive. Well, I don't even unalive them, but he did shoot them. Two police officers. A member of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement told the news uh, the Venezuelan has tattoos associated with this G-A-N-G, which court documents for a suspected G-A-N-G member in Georgia describe as five-pointed crowns, five-pointed stars, and teardrops. The New York Police Department told the news that Castro had no prior arrests, but is suspect in several robberies in Queens. Castro remains in custody and has, of course, pleaded not guilty to charges when contacted by um, the news. That's what the attorney said. Mind you, who's paying for that attorney? Taxpayers. But all of the crimes attributed to the GANG, including the kidnapping and murdering of a former Venezuelan police officer in South Florida, in November of 2023, one stands out. In late April, the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Department received a 911 call from a Spanish-speaking woman saying she was being held against her will at a residence 
and forced to have actual intercourse, intercourse, and forced to have actual intercourse with unknown males for money. The woman later told investigators that she was forced to have X with strangers to pay off a $30,000 USD debt to a trafficking person, a trafficker for bringing her to the United States. Officials arrested two suspects. Both, both are Venezuelan nationals. At the location, they list their names and they're 23 and 26 years old. Agents later arrested another Venezuelan, also 23 years old, identified in the complaint as a leader of the uh, sex trafficking operation being conducted by this GANG in the United States. So they have stash houses used for human trafficking in Louisiana, Texas, Virginia, New Jersey, and Florida. And they probably have more than that. They just don't know about them. If the allegations against the suspects are true, it will mean that this GANG already has the ability to operate trafficking rings in the US, the same way it has done in several South American countries. The challenge for law enforcement officials is that it's very difficult to know how many members of the GANG are already in the country. Guess what? In spite of the arrest, what some Venezuelan immigrants in Florida and other states have told the news is that they are already beginning to see in their communities the same type of criminal activity that they fled from in Venezuela. So even the people that's fleeing from all the criminal activity over there are now being subject to the same criminal activity over here in the United States because they fled and guess who else fled? The GANG members. So a former Venezuelan police officer now living in Florida says he fled his country. Even the police fled, y'all. <sighs> he fled his country in large part because the GANG had become so powerful. He says that they could K-I-L-L -L, law enforcement like him with impunity. A fellow police officer who refused to cooperate with the G-A-N-G in his native Aragua state was shot 50 times by this G-A-N-G people. Um, he refused and he was unalived. They tied his body to a motorcycle and dragged it throughout the sand Vincenti neighborhood to demonstrate the power that they have in that country. It's like Pandora's box. Okay. When they opened up the border, it's, it's like Pandora's box. You cannot, even if you close it, the chaos is already taking place right now because it was even open in the first place. What do you do? So in March, a group of Republican members of Congress led by Florida Senator Marco Rubio and his fellow Republican representative and urging him to take action by designating AGANG as a transnational criminal organization. In the letter, the legislator said, if left unchecked, they will unleash an unprecedented reign of terror, mirroring the devastation it has already inflicted in communities throughout Central and South America, most prominently in Colombia, Chile, Ecuador, and Peru. So y'all, I just want to bring this to you. Please get in the comments and let me know what you think about what's happening. What is this country becoming where you're not, gonna want to go anywhere because now mind you you're still gonna have to live your life and you cannot live in fear okay you have to trust that god has you but you also need to be realistic and understand that not everybody has a god that they believe in and whatever they want to do to you or anyone around you they're going to do so 
please let me know what y'all think about this dangerous Venezuelan JNG that has infiltrated and probably still infiltrating the U.S. Because borders are left unchecked. Borders are open. And I'm really waiting to see what this debate is going to look like in a couple of weeks, y'all. So the countdown has begun. Y'all let me know again what you think. Before you leave, please hit that like button. It does help get the video out to more people. Sharing the video out also helps the channel and subscribing and turning on your notification and definitely commenting helps the channel grow. I'm trying to once again, reach 107,000 subscribers and I need your help to do it. So um, I will see you later, maybe, or I will see you tomorrow. I have not decided yet. Depends on what the news cycle is looking like. So until then, turn your notifications on and I will definitely call you.